RV renovations, having fun. Um, this is the furnace out of the, the Dayton. Go in there. Right now it's out here on my lap. Um, the fan was blowing and it wasn't igniting. Um, I tracked down to um, two things. I had an open um, high limit switch. It's this wire going in, this wire coming out wasn't powering the controller um, I jumped that and I still wasn't getting um, any sparky sparky lighty lighty so I tracked that to the back control board replaced the control board with the um, the high limit switch bypassed everything worked fine so no problem just uh, troubleshoot the high bypass uh, high limit switch right wrong it is buried absolutely buried and I had I could see the wires going back into the furnace um, no access to it I tried to pull the vents off at which point I could see it in there Boy, back in there uh, so I decided to pull the whole unit up and I was taking this whole unit apart thing and I was gonna have to pull the motor everything off out of the front side of this till I finally unbolted this cover which then allowed me to pull the squirrel cage blower off by loosening that collet once I had that squirrel cage out I looked for videos on how to do this everyone just said oh it's deep and have a professional do it it's so deep into the unit you'll never get it uh, then I was able to actually unscrew the high limit switch pull it out and of course as soon as I pulled it out I tested it because I suspected it wasn't actually bad I thought maybe it's just the connection. There's just no way to even get at the connection. Um, and I put my jumper leads on it, and sound of a, sound of a good. It was good. So put my uh, I cleaned off the, the leads a little bit, the, the terminals, because I've had problems on this RV with terminals just being corroded. They're not loose. They're just corroded, and you know, and it's son of a gun. Popped it back in there. Tested my my uh, leads and uh, it's closed as it should be the only time that's supposed to open is if it hurt, hits a certain high temperature um, that's why it's called the high limit switch and it lives in there with the heater baffle so there you go man uh, save yourself uh, technically you could actually get away with doing this with this still in the rig I didn't know that you remove four screws one two three four pop this off Get that scroll cage off of there, and then you can access it. You could technically actually do that. If you dropped a screw in there, you'd be hating life, but uh, whatever. But anyway, I have, I'm glad I took the whole thing out. Uh, I'm not done cleaning it. There was um, all kinds of mud wasps jammed up in here. There were mud wasps inside the exhaust tube in there, and there's still uh, stink bugs and uh, all kinds of... Yeah, like grass and stuff that's not good I mean that's hot air coming out of there so I'll take that down and hit that with the shop back so now about gonna put all this stuff together that I that's my uh, bowl full of screws there um, yeah there you go high limit switch Atwood this is an 8351 mark 3 8531 sorry I think they're all pretty much the same I'm not sure thing is I uh, I just picked up uh, this Toyota over here this 91 for a hundred bucks the whole rig and I'm sitting here tearing this thing apart and I look underneath and I go hey that looks like an Atwood furnace I probably could have just yanked that one out of there for the hundred bucks I paid for that whole thing but uh, anyway got an education on that maybe you did too all right hope you enjoyed totally overhauled this uh, Atwood Hydro Flame Furnace, new control board. Uh, had the here she goes. Oh, she fired. Tick 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 tick. Woo! That's the good stuff there. With my dry hands from COVID-19 hand washing. Yikes! Old ass man hands dried up. There we go. She's working. Um, had to replace the control board and the high limit switch was not bad but the connectors they weren't loose they just were I don't know, tarnished i guess i had to dig all the way into the back of this thing um 
pulled the whole thing out of the rig and um, take that high limit switch out, test it, test it good, put the terminals back on, they were good. So I took my file and cleaned up the terminals, cleaned up the spade ends, and uh, put the whole thing back in. Here we go. We got a, a working safe furnace. Um, here you go. I got to button it up on the inside, get all the duct work back on it. Uh, and that's it. I'll get her together uh, tonight yet before it's back.